And we're back, Mike Cernovich, Cernovich.com, a little unkept here, but, you know, talk about the Anthony Bourdain kind of stuff. I've, I've been telling people, warning people, that the energy shift, I talked about this, a lot of negative, toxic, hateful people dismissed it. Right now, we are, I, I told people, I said things, remember that, I, I, I predict things, I predicted things. I love you too, Adele. I said, the energy has shifted. We're going to see things like we've never seen before. And that means upside and downside. Anthony Bourdain, God bless his family. Tragedy is a suicide. He spread hate every day. He was just a nasty person every day. And when... Well, I have to save lives. I have to be honest with people. If you wake up like he does every day, this is going to backfire. He was a nasty person to people. He hated half the country. Okay, maybe, no, 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 Sean is defending no, 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 Bourdain. I'm not attacking Bourdain. His show, the energy no, 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 that he created. And Periscope, Periscope, the energy, the energy that he created is going to always reflect back on you. And if you wake up, I don't hate the half the country. I don't hate you Hillary Clinton people. I don't hate you Obama people. I don't hate anybody. Every day of my life, I don't hate it. I don't hate anybody. So yeah, people want to go, oh, you know, Cernovich. I don't, you know, I don't care that's your own hate. That's going to be reflected back on you. Okay, well, like but right now, keep, you, I don't know. right now, we're dealing in an energy time. We're dealing with an energy time where if you... Do not focus on the energy you bring. You're gonna get you're gonna get whatever you want flipped right back at you. Kate Spade, the whole thing. And so so that's the thing, like you know, I know it's not politically correct to talk about these issues, but you have to be a more positive person. You have to treat people better nowadays. You have to you have to treat people better. Nowadays, if you wake up every day, I hate these people. Look at the, I mean, when I read my Twitter feed, a lot of these liberal people, I follow a lot of celebrities and stuff. There, it, it is a sick mind. They're meditating. They're meditating on death. Think about this. Read the Bible, read the Quran, read the Torah, read, read any holy book. It doesn't matter your religion. You become what you meditate on, right? You become what you meditate on. And if every day you just wake up angry, I got to wake up today, talk about how much I hate Trump, talk about how much I hate his supporters, talk about, you know, or if you're a Republican and you're like, I got to wake up. That's why people got mad at me. I go, quit focusing on how you want Hillary Clinton in prison. I said that to my own people, to my own tribe, my own, you know, quote unquote followers. I go, you got to just get over this. I want Hillary Clinton in prison stuff. She's a 70-year-old woman with major health problems, maybe Parkinson's. If that's what you do, you wake up every day, I want Hillary Clinton in prison. You know, what's that do to your own mind? What does that do to your own internal energy, right? So that's the problem. People have to really take personal responsibility for the energy that they feel, the energy that they're giving off to the universe. And if, the, if you wake up, I mean, I, I see people, it's like every day, man. I'm just like, okay, are you people just not going to be mad? Are you just not, you know, can you just wake up for a day and not just wake up angry and upset and mad at people? Can you just wake up and say, today I'm going to, you know, do something positive with my day. Today I'm going to do something good, you know, good with my day. Now, yeah, everybody is going to, um, you know, everybody's going to focus on the mental health issues and everything like this. Your, your mindset is part of your mental health, right? Your, your, habits of your, your habits of your mind are your mental health. And if you wake up and the habits of your mind are focused on negativity, who you hate, who you don't like, this bigotry throughout the nation, and there's bigotry on both sides. If you wake up with bigotry in your heart, this is going to reflect back on you all the time. That's why, I mean, I have people, you know, nasty people in me every day. I'm not, I'm not, I don't wake up hate, you know, hating on them. I wake up thinking, oh, you know, I have a good day today. Let's, you know, be productive. Let's make some things happen. Let's do, you know, do a little bit of, do a little bit of good in the world. That goes liberal, conservative, uh, moderate, you name it. You, you just, that's how you have to live your life. So, 
Someone says your energy, your energy has, I mean, everything to do with it now. Because the energy shift is so powerful and profound that you're going to have really incredible upside potential. And you're going to have really incredible downside risk right now. So if you really want to be positive, if you really want to be powerful, you, you really want to harness your creativity and your spirit, now is the time to do it. Now is the time to do it. But if you wake up negative, if you want to wake up negative, then you're going to feel it even more. So that is the message for the everybody. And, and people, you know, you can't, you're not allowed to talk about this, right? That's the problem is, I'm going to be attacked for this periscope. I'll be attacked for this periscope. Be right now. <laughs> you know, by people who don't understand these issues. Multiple people have said they were going to kill themselves before the red gorilla mindset. That's just a fact. That's just a fact. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with facts. I've had multiple people email me and say that they were suicidal before they found my writing. Just, just a fact. Hear about it all the time. I've heard people who said I was suicidal, then I read Gorilla Mindset. You know, completely changed my life. It's just all fact. And that's because mindset is connected to how you feel about the world. Mindset is connected. I seem pissed right now, though. Well, you're blocked, sir, because I'm not. This is a very serious thing. That's your own, that's your own toxic energy. And you notice people always go, oh, why do you block so many people? Because I don't want toxic energy in anything that I do. I don't want toxic energy on my periscopes. I mean, people are dying. Kate Spade killed it. These are billionaires. You got billionaires with access to every kind of source in the world and they're not getting the help that people need. And then if I talk about it, I'll be attacked because you're not allowed to talk about these things. But so this is very serious. This is life or death matter. This is not kid stuff. This isn't child's play. That's the, that's the reality. It's not child's play. These are very serious matters. And we live in a culture where you're, you're not allowed to treat anything seriously. Right? So you got you to gotta figure out how can you improve your own mindset? How can you improve your own life? How, how can you direct more positive energy outward because the energy you direct outward is always going to be direct inward. If you wake up, if you wake up every day and you just want to direct anger outward, you know what? You're going to feel that energy. You're going to feel that energy right back at you. I hate to say it. You know, but you're not allowed to say that, oh, he's depressed or so-and-so is depressed. Sure they are. Of course they are. Right? To me, like... like that's what I don't really understand about people when they, you know, they try to always like correct me or something, which is like, well, I mean, of course, of course we know people are depressed. I mean, is that like not known? But if you're a depressed person and then you have to more than, than anyone else, if you have to any more else, you have to direct out positive energy because it's going to reflect back on you. So it's just simply about, it's just simply about the way you feel inside, right? And the way you reflect the energy outside. So, I mean, everywhere I look, dude, I'm not going to put, you know, I'm not going to name certain people on because I'll think I'm putting on blast. There are people that I reach out to. I'll see things they write about, um, uh, uh, what's her name? Ivanka. That if it were one of my people writing about Chelsea Clinton, I get so sick of some of the stuff people say to Chelsea Clinton. And I tell people that. I've praised Chelsea Clinton. I love how you say it. I've praised her, the way she conducts herself on Twitter. I'm so sick of, oh, you know, Chelsea Clinton did it be mean to her. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't treat her the way people treat her. I think it's vile the way people talk to Chelsea Clinton. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You're just like sick, sick in the head. And, you know, criticism is fine, but there's a level. Like with the Ivanka stuff, with the, Ivanka, the way people... It, it, it deal with Ivanka? Well, yeah, that's just nasty. Yeah. But but what do you think happens to people who do that, Shauna? You think, you know, that's the whole point that I'm getting at is like there are people um here I'll tell you I'll tell you I don't want to like No, I understand your point. No, no, but I'm but um 
I here, no, 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 but okay. So I'll tell you how the scope closes. But yeah, there's a guy who whose stuff I, you know, who's you know, famous guy or whatever. And when I read his stuff about Ivanka, I'm just like, I. Well, I'm not going to say it live, obviously. You know, it's like famous person, but when I see this guy, you know, on Twitter, I'm, I'm just like, dude, you're 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 better than this, right? Like you're better. Th this is what I think a lot of times when I read when I read stuff from people is I think I think you're better than this. Like why are you doing this? And moreover, how is this going to reflect back at you? That short term, yeah, I, yeah, I call the Vanka a feckless. You know what? Like what does that do for you spiritually? What does that do for you? What does that do for you energy wise? Yeah, I called. You know, I called a, a mother of three. Uh, C U N T. Yeah, <laughs> so powerful, so great. I called half the country Nazis. Yeah, I feel really good. I mean, just think about that. What do you think happens when that's what you wake up every day? Oh, Nazi this, Ivanka's a C-U-N-T, Kim Kardashian's a, a bimbo and everything else. You wake up every day, oh, these people are garbage, these people are worthless. What do you think that's going to flip back on you? I worry about Judd Apatow. I don't like Judd Apatow. I don't think he's a particularly good person, but I worry about his mental health because every day with him, it's like, hate, 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 toxic, toxic, toxic. He's had to take his Twitter on private before because he wished death on other people, right? So, yeah, I mean, I don't, he's not like a friend of mine, but I would not be surprised if Judd Apatow engages in, it's not, it's true, babe. Have you read his stuff? He's had to lock his Twitter before. Toxic yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, a lot of coups. It's not kooks, baby. This is negative energy. Well, okay. I think with Anthony, you know he's dating Asia Argento, right? Okay. She was like the, the one of the most outspoken Harvey Weinstein mm -hmm. victims. So maybe like all of that got to him or I don't know. But. Read it. Read it. He's... See, I know. However, can I, just, can I just insert really quick? He did a lot of good with his show. He showed the world parts of the world that people would have never seen. He took, like, he went to Iran. He's been to Armenia. He's been to places in Vietnam that we ended up going to. Like, he, like, that show did a lot of good, so. Okay, but yeah. how, what did he, what was his meditation and habits of mind? I'm would kidding. Anthony Bourdain have defended me? No. Would he have defended me? No. Would he have said gorilla mindset has done good and people no. were suicidal and never did? No. So then who's a better person, me or Anthony Bourdain? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Who's this a better human okay. being, a higher consciousness person who's spreading a positive message yes, of love? Hard. Yeah. Not, Anthony I'm... Bourdain wouldn't defend me. Why are you defending Anthony Bourdain? Has he got love in his heart? He's got hate. He hated me. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Bourdain it woke up with hatred. No, it's about the energy, though, that people give off. I think his energy went into... I think a lot of people's energy went haywire for the... Okay, life. well, they need to fix it or they're going to die. That's the whole point. But his show did a lot of good. So that's the point. So the, the, that's the thing that people are missing. And that's because society doesn't teach people. Not, see, you're not better than anyone dipshit. See, so you got negative people coming into here spreading negative energy. Those people, what do you think is going to happen to them? Your, your day is to jump into a Mike Sandwich Periscope and tell me you hate me? I didn't buy an advertisement. I didn't beg people to come watch my Periscopes, right? I don't, never bought an advertisement. I don't beg people to watch. I so, block people. I block people. So everyone in a Mike Sandwich Periscope is in here voluntarily, and you want to just come in and talk about how you hate people. Hate everybody. Hate me. I mean, think about that. Don't hate you, loony. See, like, I mean, seriously, think about that. What is going to happen to people like that? They're, they're, they're going to internalize that energy. The energy is the magic mirror is always going to be reflected back at you. So if you wake, uh, if you wake up, if you want to fight people, you don't fight people with hate. You have to fight people with love. You have to fight people with powerful. Energy. What inspires me? All of you do inspire me. It's easy for me to be inspired. And that's what Burdane could have done. He should have drawn on his fame as a source of inspiration. Right? He should have asked, how can I help, how can I help a person today? 
Who can I help today? Right? How many people, how many people can I help today? How many people can I reach today? What's a positive message that I can spread today? That's how I wake up every day. How can I provide valuable content for people who watch me? Every day I think about that. I think about how can I do more? How can I do, uh, how can I do uh, more? Right? That's how you have to wake up. Just You have to be a leader and you have to think about how can you how can you just spread a, a positive message? And again, if people think it's politically correct, my job is to save lives. My job is not to be politically correct. My job is to save lives to people. Hey! Ah, Whoa! She's hungry. You hungry? Is it time for Brecky? Ready for Brecky? You ready for Brecky? Yeah, my job is to not, not be politically correct. My job is to save lives, to help people, to get this little monster breakfast, to be, to be just positive every, every day. And, and by the way, I'm not going to say that I always was. Nobody here is claiming that, you know, nobody here is claiming. That's Dada right there. Nobody here is claiming that I was always perfect. You know, I'm the guy to show you that anybody can change. Even I can change. Right? That's the whole point. Everybody can change. So if you... Wait, are you trying to get on the floor or do you want to climb up on me? You can, you can do either. You on the floor now? Okay. That's the whole point is everyone can change. You have to be conscious. Oh, wow. She's trying... Cyrus over there trying to climb up onto her, um, what do you call it, a high chair? high chair? She's trying to climb on her high chair, that's how hungry she is. Maybe I should take, take her to get a bagel. You can't, I'm making an egg, but... I'm Cyrus, you want to go get a bagel with that? Here, can you ask me to keep her? No, oh, you are hungry. I'm hungry too, I don't know why I had good it's dinner. Like eight. It's late, I think. I know, but if I ate late, I should, I should wake up full. But sometimes you don't eat really well. That's I think like I... Your metabolism. Yeah, I didn't eat much. You ate everything but the curry. Well, I know, but that was my only real meal of the day. All right, people, just know that right now we're in a different energy phase. It's Connie's birthday today. I've talked about the energy shift before. Yeah, I, I do intermittent fasting. I, I've talked about the energy shift before, and I just want to reemphasize, if you're a Trump supporter, don't hate Hillary Clinton. Don't hate her. Not the whole, I, I want to see her die in prison stuff. Please don't for your own safety. For your own mental health, if you support Trump, I don't want to hear, I want Hillary Clinton to die in prison. Quit sending me messages like that. I block people. I'm so sick of people sending me toxic messages. So this is not a partisan issue. This is not an issue of, oh, do you support Trump? You don't like Trump or whatever. This is an issue of, that's what you want to focus on every day. How do I put Hillary Clinton behind bars? Why don't you think about Kim Kardashian, how you can get people pardoned? How can you, you spread mercy and grace to the world? How can you spread compassion and human decency to the world? How can you get Alice Johnson freed from prison, right? That's the kind of stuff you want to think about. How can you free people who are in prison? Not, yeah, you don't have to like, exactly. You don't have to like everybody to love people. Exactly right. I don't like Hillary Clinton, but I don't want her to die in prison, right? I mean, can we, uh, it, it, it seems like such an ab absurd gesture that I would need to say that. It, it, it's absurd that I would need to say, well, I don't like Hillary Clinton, but I don't want her to die in prison. Right? It's absurd that I would have to say that, but read read the read the the resistance Twitter every day. Uh oh, I want you know Roger Stone to die in prison. Do you really want Roger to die in prison? For what? Being you know a little mean on Twitter like everybody else? I mean just think about that. You know, I, I want everybody in Trump to go to, for what? What'd they do? What did they actually do? Right? Think about that. So then you wake up every day and you want that to happen to people. What do you think, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to reflect right back on you. All the hate you direct outward because of the magic mirror is always going to reflect back towards you. 
So think about today, how can I thank people? How can I be kind to people? How can I be decent to people? How can I spread love to people? Maybe leave a tip, a, little, a tip extra for somebody. Maybe last night I sent Sean a very nice text message when I was at the gym, which I usually, you know, not that I don't send that. <laughs> <laughs> not that I usually don't, but I sent it unusually. Unusually, I, I screenshotted it. I sent it. The next time Michael pisses me off, I'll just look at that screenshot. I don't know how anybody can ever be mad at me. Living with me, living with, you know, it's like living with Osho or something, you know. People study my work. When I die, people study all my writings. It's like I'm a living embodiment of the the age, the, the zeitgeist. But yeah, I, but I sent, you know, Shauna an unusually nice text message last night. Why? They're just because. That's what I'm focused on. Is every day, I'm, you know, leave a little bit of extra tip. You know, leave, um, you know, little small gestures. Just, that's the whole idea. You don't have to get, you know, Alice Johnson pardoned. You don't have to do like massive things. Every day. It's just the idea is... You know, try to make somebody's day. Reach out to people. Tell people, you know, you value them, that you like them. Tell, you know, encourage them. For for selfishness. Selfishness. You can't afford it, go get blood. Right? If you can't, you know, that's the whole thing. Charity is a habit. People say, well, I can't afford to give a charity. Well, I mean, we've all been in that place, but you can get blood. Right? You can go volunteer. A lot of, a lot of you can pray for people. You can go just stop and say, hey, man, I just want to say I really get a good good energy off of you. I don't, you know, it's weird to go tell people to say that, but I, just, I really feel something good about you. I think today's going to be your day. You can go do that. So people always talk about what they can't do. See, and that's energy shift. Oh, well, I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, okay, but you can go out and be nice to people, right? Can you do that? No, you know, all, you know, all kinds of things. All kinds of things people can do. So it's a choice. And again, even if, yeah, yesterday I said congrats to someone at work who I don't like. It was a bit like torture. Well, yeah, but it'll get better. You know, it'll get better. The point is that even if you don't want to do it, even if you don't want to do it, do it for yourself. Be selfish. Because if you wake up and you don't want to do it and you want to be toxic and you want to be negative and you want to spread mental sickness everywhere you look, that is going to become inside you and your own heart and your own mind even worse. So I'm nice to people for my own health. Not because I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the right thing very selfishly because I, when I, I wrote about this, remember I said the energy shift was here? Remember that? Remember I told people, I told people all this before it happened. I don't explain things after it happens and then rationalize what happens. I told people there's a, a fundamental energy shift the likes of which we've never seen in our lifetime. And that you need to be conscious of this energy shift. And I said, because of it, I'm, I'm done trolling. I'm done, you know, dunking on people. I'm done trying to, you know, out asshole people. I said, because the energy shift. I said, I, I said, because of that. And because of that shift, I said, we have to take a more positive outlook on life. Because if you don't, it's going to reflect back on you in a much, much more intense way. So whatever good you do is going to reflect it back, going to be reflected back on you in a positive way. You'll be rewarded more by the universe. And whatever bad you do is going to be reflected back on you too. So even if you don't agree with somebody, even if you think somebody is ideologically disagreeing with you, yeah, somebody said, you still dunk on people, but it's not mean. Right, it's not mean-spirited. I'm polite. That's the whole difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still, it isn't like I'm boring. You know, I still, I still, how do you say, correct the record. But it's a different energy that I send out when I do it. It's meant to be helpful. It's meant to be helpful. It's not, people say they miss me being mean to people. Well, don't. Because if I were mean to people every day, how would I feel about myself? I wouldn't make it. I'd end up like these other people, right? Because that's the energy. The energy you put out in the universe is going to be reflected back on you. Today, make a conscious choice to reflect back positive energy. You want me to hold it? Thanks as always for watching. I'll be writing about this subject today. CernRich.com. Okay, 
C E R N O V I C H dot com. I'll be writing at CernRich.com today about these very important issues, these timely issues. Today is your day. Let's save a life.